I was really overwhelmed when people used to talk about changing my diet for my health. And so when I found Garden, it was like, maybe there is a way for me to be less stressed about food. So the specialist I saw recommended that I eat far better and cleaner. We decided to grow spices and vegetables. <music> There's lots of scientific evidence that growing your own food can have a significant impact on your stress levels. Data shows us that by adding more fruits and vegetables and getting rid of those processed foods, you can reduce your risk of many different chronic diseases. So my senior year of college, I was getting something out of my backpack and then I couldn't stand up. Um, and it was pretty scary. I started having red blotches all over my stomach. I started having hives, flares, widespread body pain, fatigue that no one could really explain for a while. It wasn't until I saw a rheumatologist that she ended up diagnosing me with an autoimmune condition. And then it took another year to get the diagnosis of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, the connective tissue disease. And it was really an indication for me that I needed to start prioritizing my nutrition and really finding a way to make food a less stressful part of my life. So I started having a lot of pain in my feet. I was walking on what felt like broken feet. Also, I was itching terribly at night. First reaction when I was told I had fatty liver, I was confused. One in three Americans have fatty liver disease, approximately 100 million people. It can lead to serious liver damage, including cirrhosis if it gets worse. Food is kind of a passion and a hobby. We're cooking everything, making sure that what I eat I is well prepared. So after being diagnosed, we decided we were going to do more exercise and start eating more fruits and vegetables. <music> So growing up, we were always told to eat our fruits and vegetables. And as adults, it can become a little more difficult because it's not in the fridge, because you don't have time to get to the store. There's many obstacles to doing it. And by growing your fruits and veggies in your house, you just make it that much more convenient. It helps with things like your blood sugar, inflammation, keeping you fuller for longer, but also things like your mood. Literally, I don't think I realized how stressful it was every day having to make these food decisions. What am I gonna eat? What am I gonna eat? This has been such an easy thing for me to maintain. So uh, my favorite thing to grow in a garden is lettuce. You have an endless amount of uh, lettuce and kale and Monte Carlo, Rouge de Rare. Favorite thing to grow in garden? I'm going with spices where I do so much cooking. My cholesterol is far lower, I'm down 9% on weight. <music> When you think about going to the grocery store, you don't normally think about how long that food has been there or how far it's traveled to get there. And the fact is the moment your food is picked, it begins to lose nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. So by growing it in your house, you don't lose any of that and it's as fresh as it could possibly be. Just take your health seriously, grow your own, invest in your health. Every day I can eat healthy food because of garden. I no longer have to feel guilty that I'm not doing enough. <laughs>